Radio right. folks, so whether it is chondromalacia patella, patella tracking dysfunction, I don't know patella what I mean. pain mm. syndrome, or just a damn right sore bloody knee. I've got the pain bit. These conditions all would be treated in the same way. They are the result of, and we've spoken about this earlier this week, they're the result of your kneecap not tracking in the right place on your femur bone. So your femur bone... We actually can't see Jack, can we? Can, you, can I get you to stand? Yes. I just realised his pants aren't conducive to They're not great on the live, no. So the <laughs> femur bone is the thigh bone. We have the little kneecap that sits over the top of it. Whenever we contract our thigh muscle, our quadricep muscle, it allows this, it's, it's a pulley system, and it allows this kneecap to glide up and down in a very specific groove that's in your femur. If you do have an issue with imbalance of muscles, which is what we've diagnosed with them, where she's got a weak medial muscle, vastus medialis obliquus is what it's called. It's basically, it was asleep on Tuesday night, it certainly was. And the muscles on the outside, which can include the quadriceps as well as the TFL, we've spoken about tight TFLs before, causes this patella to track slightly laterally off to the side. And as a result, it wears and tears and causes all sorts of pain, grinding this crepitous sound within your knee. Whenever you go to do stairs, it's uncomfortable. Whenever you go to straighten your leg, you can hear this grinding. It's a horrible, horrible sound and a horrible mm -hmm. feeling through through the body as well. So we spoke about, we, we did a treatment. We spoke about a few things that them should do and not do, like lots of bending squats, lunges, things like that's not good for while it's recovering. But the most important thing is that we deal with this imbalance because if we don't deal with the imbalance, this condition will lead to arthritis. And M is a very sporty and active person and she does not want to be told she can't do anything for forever. It's so, my party and I'm crying. Sorry. Can you go and put your shorts on so that we can? Sure. We've had a couple of questions. We did dry needling on Monday, um, Tuesday, sorry, which was to show how we, in clinical practice, uh, I can't say chiros because not all chiros do dry needling, but those of us who do, that's how we woke up that, that medial muscle that was basically asleep. You and, missed it. It's still there. And how we relaxed the tight muscles on the outer aspect to stop it pulling that kneecap off to the side. As Em said, if you did miss it and you want to check that out, that is there. If you're not phobic and needles, go for it. Go back and check it out. If ever you're searching for anything on Facebook, just type in Dr. Kez and then whatever the condition is, and you will find that that will bring bring you to a, a bunch of our videos because sometimes we've done multiple on different topics. just makes it that little bit easier to find. So we have had the question of, but if I'm at home and I don't uh, do dry needling, fair enough, because we're all about helping you to heal at home, what can I do to be able to rectify this unusual pull of the muscles in the quadriceps that lead to this grinding feeling in my knee? I love that you guys are taking into your own hands your health and you're wanting to know what you can do at home to either speed up the recovery that you might be seeing a practitioner, a physio, chiro, what have you. You're wanting to see if you can get the results faster. You're wanting to get these things sorted out before they do become an arthritic condition. And the answer to that is at home, you can stretch and roll, except in this case, M can't stretch because it aggravates the, the patella. So if you've got chondromalacia patella, you can't. If you've just got tight quads, you can. Uh, or just patellar femoral tracking issues, you can do the stretching. Rolling on the roll-up, which you can do at home, which is horribly painful, but it works really well. Uh, or cupping. Now, we mentioned cupping, but I didn't show you how to do it. So I will show you how to do it today. It's pretty simple. But what I do need to let you know, the reason for today, we're actually going to show you how to strap this condition, which I will do as well. But I'm going to do the cupping first, obviously, because once I've strapped it, I can't put the cups on. So we're doing it in, in that order because that would be the order that you would do it. But it is really important if you put any Chirofix or any of the oil, which we're going to use the oil from the cupping set, the Restore oil, you must clean that away well before you go and apply the strapping tape or else it won't stick properly. All right, this is going to be really weird, but... Do you want to just stand there while I do it? It's not how sure. we would normally do it. Are you no. sure? Yeah, whatever works. Sadly, nobody will be able to see your face, and this would be quite entertaining. <laughs> so I'll get you to come a little I bit. I can pretend that I'm sitting. That's... Oh, you can't do it like that. You can't contract your quad and then have me do it. That would never do. Come a little bit closer. Okay, we're going to use the cupping set to show you just where to put oh, you mean like the cup. Stand cupping. Yeah, so right. can you maybe stand on this leg and I'll do this leg? Just let it. No, no, what? stand on this leg and just let that one relax. So it can still this touch is the ground. This is going to be very challenging. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to see on the chair? You could, but then no one will be able to see what we're doing. Nice. Sorry, we're at the factory. We had to be at the factory because we had a pickup happening. So apologies about that. That's not the best environment. We would normally be doing this on the table, which has just been taken by the pickup. But anyway, not the point. So we're looking at the tightness of the muscle of the 
medial, the midline uh, quadricep muscle rectus femoris. We're going to do two cups on here. We're going to do one cup on here, which is the area we're trying to wake up. We're trying to stimulate that muscle. And then we're going to do one on the, the lateral muscle. So the quadricep has four muscles, one that's deep that you can't get to, one that's on the surface in the middle, one on the out, inside and one on the outside. And then we're also going to place one cup up here. When we do that cup, I'll tilt the camera up so that you don't see me putting that cup on, but you get to see the look on his face because it's really <laughs> nice uh, Thanks. Sadly, you know what I haven't got? Now, this is not, not good. Luckily, we've got a whole bunch down the I didn't have my I thought I had my oil in my other spot it's all right I'm all good I'm ready to go all right so for this one you can do this yourself I'm just going to use the handle I don't need, need the extension tubing for this one and we're going to choose for the medial and so the inside muscle and for the outside muscle it's a it's a small muscle powerful but small so we choose a three so nice and small area and then for the I'm sweating already for the <laughs> muscles Higher up, I'm choosing a two because we can use larger cups, but I might not be able to get to that. Can I get to that? Oh, gosh. Yeah, okay, we can. All right. So the, this is the orientation that we're going to do these. So I'm getting my cups ready. Most important, when you're doing your cupping treatment on yourself or on somebody else, make sure you get your stuff ready so that you know what you're going to do. So I've got two size threes, one for either side here. And I've got three size two. Sorry, I've only got two hands. I can't hold them all at once. For the midline issue, right down the middle. And then I'm doing a larger cup up here. This one. This one's the one that you're going to want to watch for the one in his face, just saying. All right, so I'm just going to put a bit of oil actually on the cups rather than on M's leg because I am trying to minimalise it because I'm going to do the taping or strapping straight after. When we talk about the strapping, it's important to understand that this is a particular type of strapping or taping that we're doing today. We're not rigid taping. So if you've seen that skin-coloured tape in woolies or what have you, it's not that tape. Oh, that, that tape, tape is, is just... It's good for stabilising a sprained ankle or something like that if you have to go to sport. It's not what we need for this. We're wanting a functional tape. We're wanting it to pull the patella, the kneecap, more medially so that it tracks in that groove beautifully the strapping rigid tape is not for this so that's really important if you're thinking geez i've got this condition i might give this strapping a turn and you dive down to woolies or whatever and go and buy it you need to buy either k tape team tape it's like a fabric tape it's not rigid if it says rigid it's not the right one for this particular purpose of what we're going to do Some of that cheap tape sticks to your skin oh and if it's oh. if it's really old if you've had strapping tape in your sports bag from you know 10 years ago when you played football or whatever it. get rid of it or it'll stick to you and you'll never be able to get it off it's horrible oh, stuff our daughters oh my gosh didn't is it just yeah, keep, keep just talking baby let's see it's gonna be like, ah! <laughs> actually that wasn't as bad as what i thought it was gonna oh be. that's the easy one all right. all right so i've gone for the two three so i'm going to go on the out outer cup as well just in case oh, you've geez. just joined us we don't normally do this standing but we found that it, we don't think you'd be able to view it properly if if em was laying down we're just in an area that is not really that conducive to videoing so apologies but we said we're committed to being here all right, this is a midline one. If you're first using your cups, remember you need to prime them. The little valve here needs to be pulled out. So if you start with your cups and you're going to pump and you're not getting, you can't pump the pump, prime the cup. So if you've got a new set of cups, just pop the top off to break the seal and then off you go with the rest of your treatment. I have put oil on the outside of the cups. You can place it on the skin, but as I said, I'm about to do some strapping straight after this, so I want the least amount of oil on M skin possible. How are you travelling, baby? Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Yep. So this is the final cup. This cup is going to be on the iliotibial band. So I'm just going to slide the uh, camera up because she's in anticipation, look, already in anticipation. The third one that's causing the most um, tension. And you know what else? <laughs> standing so on one leg. <laughs> you are standing on one leg. So this is going to be oh. intense. You ready? Yeah, give it to me. Oh, look at that. No reaction. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's bring it back so that you can actually see you where the what? cups oh, are. Yeah, it's getting intense now. Normally, sorry, for most of them, it's when it first goes on, it's like whoo, whoo. that one's um builds okay. over time. Yes, that one's a this is an iliotibial band. It's not a muscle. There is muscle underneath it, but the band, the, the muscles actually up here, sort of next to your buttock. And the band, massive band, comes all the way down and attaches to the side of your knee. So if you've got lateral knee pain, pain on the outside of your knee, 
get that spiky ball into the like the bit between the bone and the bone in between the two bones are you traveling there baby i'm good i'm good we good. don't normally do this standing but for videoing purposes we were asked how do i use the cupping set at home for this particular condition because obviously we did a treatment with dry needling and people can't do that at home nice. so we've got one on each of this one which is the size two cup slightly bigger the inner and outer cup are size threes because the muscle is actually quite small powerful but small and you don't want to when you're doing cupping even if you're doing it on the back you want to try and make sure that the cups go where the muscles are not necessarily on the bone it's not going to cause detriment if it's on the bone but you're wanting to pull the muscle up inside the cup to break up those adhesions which is what we're doing on this side of m's thigh on this side we're trying to stimulate blood flow to the muscle to get it to start to work properly it's actually got a lot more tone in it if you missed Tuesday's, um, what is it, live that we did on? Yep. That was the treatment Tuesday. Well, one of the treatments. We treated them again for the Baker cyst at the back on the, the Wednesday. That that muscle in there, that was it was just, there was no tone to it. It's like the messages from the brain to that muscle just weren't functioning properly. And as a result, we needed to stimulate those with the needles. You can also stimulate it with a TENS machine. Very, very effective as well. So I'm just going to give this one a tiny bit more juice if you can handle it. I'm going to take a photo. Em's just going to, you know, check the messages <laughs> on, on whatever. So for this particular issue that we're dealing with, I've taken the magnetic tips off. I love the magnetic tips for the spine. The magnets attract the iron out of your blood, not out of your blood, but to the surface where the, the magnets are, which really increases the flow of the blood to the area and, of course, to heal regardless of whether it's a torn muscle, a ligament, a, a capsule under here is an articular surface that's not functioning properly for M. That in those cases, increased blood flow is really good, which these do on their own, don't get me wrong, but the magnets with them will heighten that experience. But I really wanted to draw these muscles up and into the cup, so I haven't used the magnets in this particular instance. How are you travelling there, babe? I'm good. Your leg's starting to get a little bit of a shake. We don't need to continue this treatment because Em actually needs this done on both sides. So it would be good if I did this in a relaxing environment and she's like freezing because her are actually like going like Raynard's baby. You're really? like that purple oh, I can see that. Yeah, that's weird. So uh, we'll take them off and then we'll go and show you the strapping for this condition, which is exactly what we were supposed to be doing. But I, I got this okay. question. I thought might as well cover this. It's really hard to take a photo. Em's <laughs> just taking a <laughs> leg selfie as you do. All right, so we're going to remove the cups. To remove the cups, we just release the pressure with the valve and often they just pull straight off. Some cases, some of those rippers up in the back where lots of tissue has gone up, you need to place your finger on the skin and then tilt the, the uh, cup off on an angle. And it's going to have some nice colour here. You can just see that the increased blood flow has come to this area. It, it creates what looks a little bit like a bruise, slight petechial hemorrhage, so tiny little capillaries when you're really drawing the blood into that area the little capillaries can release a little bit of blood which is why it looks a little bruised but it's not a bruise like a bang impact bleeding type of bruise like okay yeah like that one I, Different I just saw to those. it this morning I'm like where'd that come from all right now we're going to show you the strapping this is going to be a little bit difficult to do without you sitting so I'm just going to grab a chair yeah I'm going to check oh thank you just watch your back yeah yeah all right so this what we're going to do now is we're going to use some K tape, team tape, the type of fabric tape that has stretch to it, not the rigid tape when you get a hold of it and you can't pull it. It's, it often looks like skin coloured tape. We're not using that type of tape. That's not what we need for this particular exercise. We're wanting to be able to create some assistance in bringing that kneecap, kneecap across. Where do you need me? So sitting for me. Let's make sure that oil is off. Oiled up that particular part all right so where we're going to use we're going to do two pieces of tape so this is the type of tape that we're using this is team tape it's just another brand k tape similar sort of thing i need you need a small piece and a larger piece probably twice the size if ever you've done strapping before you'll realize that the corners get caught on your clothing especially now that you've got to have to put clothes back on so we round the edges just fold the tape in half and just round the edges so that it doesn't catch on your clothing 
this tape is really interesting. You're not really supposed to touch it when it's the adhesive side of it. And to be able to get it to stick well, you need to give it a bit of a rub to warm it up. It actually activates with your activity. So it is important to not just peel off the backing and then touch it everywhere while you're putting it on. It'll lose its adhesive. It's also not very good for sticking to itself, okay? It's better to stick on the skin. So that is important. But like I said, if you've got Chirofix on because you're treating an injury or, or bone aid or you've got the Restore Oil on from doing your cupping set, clear, clear that off because it will obviously stick a whole lot better if you're not... Um, oily and greasy and what have you. Now, I'm going to get you to slide back a touch if you can, and I'm going to bend this. M's knee needs to be at about a 20-degree tilt, so I'm going to come on in here. We don't want it straight and we don't want it fully bent so that there's just a little kink in the knee is how we do this. We tear the paper at the back of this tape here so that we're holding the paper still. And then we've got to manipulate the piece of paper off without touching the backing. It's like a Band-Aid. It is a little bit like a Band-Aid, isn't yeah. it? But people touch Band-Aids, don't they? Well, how annoying when they stick to themselves. Oh, yeah, that is particularly annoying. But they're the best Band-Aids because they mould well to your skin, whereas some of the other ones stick out and they look like, like ears. You put it on your finger and you've got like this spiky bit anyway. Good for scratching. Why am I talking about Band-Aids? <laughs> so what we're doing with this first piece is we're trying to take a little bit of pressure off the patella ligament. So the quadricep muscles, four muscles, join together they go through the patella, the patella sits within this tendon and then it attaches again down into the tibial plateau here. So that if you've got a pointy bit, you've had orange splatters, just saying, but that's okay. All right, so we're just doing, with no stretch, we're just placing this on. I use the tape, the back of the tape to be able to squash it on. So this is applying a little bit of resistance to the pull so that it's not pulling against the femur. So that's the first part. Now, remember, this doesn't stick well to itself. So we're going to take the top little part off and then try and make sure that we get this to stick to the... It's kind of stuck to itself a little bit. Got to love it when it does this. So the purpose of what we're doing here is to encourage the kneecap to go back towards the centre. So we're going to start on the inside where the tape is not, don't stick it to the tape, with absolutely no stretch. So you start just by letting it pat down there, then grab a hold of the rest of the tape. Now we are going to apply stretch. So you're applying about a 70% stretch, which is quite a firm amount of stretch. And we're coming to the outside of the knee so that we're going to be pushing the knee with the tape towards the midline because at the moment this muscle is so strong it's pulling M's knee out towards the outer line and then we get to about an inch left in the tape and we just put it down without any stretch whatsoever so just let the tape go and then to activate it you need to rub this tape to get it to stick and then when we let go and you can stand up so that everyone can see that. I'll just tilt the camera down sure. a touch. We've got one piece which is helping the patella ligament from being pulling it so firmly up and into this area. It's kind of like anchoring it down, so taking a bit of pressure off the patella because it's jamming up against the femur. And then this bit here holds the kneecap towards the inside. So if you've got patella tracking issues or this condition, chondromalacia patella, which is also patella femoral pain syndrome or runner's knees, another name for it, that will help to hold the knee often to the inside. In fact, Em's got this on both sides. So if she was about to go and do a workout when she's got to that point of rehabilitation, Em's in the recovery phase at the moment, needs to take a bit of uh, time off doing what she loves, sadly. Shush, stop swearing. <laughs> um, and is just flat out using the ultrasound to be able to get rid of the inflammatory stage and then we start to rebuild the muscle. So that's the important next step. And that is what we would be using taping to be able to then support the knee in that direction while she strengthens the inside and stretches the outside of the muscle. So super, super important. I'm just going to dive down here. Do you want to dive down with me, babe? And we'll sure. see if we've got any Love diving down with you. particular questions. <laughs> Excellent. Love that. See if we've got any questions. Lots of things popping up. Kez should have taken a photo. Oh, yeah, you should have taken the photo. I know, right? Oh, <laughs> Hard to see the taping with the writing going across the screen. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Right. That's really good. Oh, I didn't even think of the caption. So from now on, we're going to have to do 
what we're doing a lot higher up. Yes. Thank you, Thank Catherine. You I really appreciate that. We feedback. can't see the writing. Yeah. You can swipe the comments. Oh. How does everybody know this and I don't? <laughs> Doreen missed Wednesday. That's okay. You'll be able to catch up. Yeah, it's all still on our um, feed or grid or whatever you want to call it. Okay, Kat's saying she has the same condition. Her physio has her doing heaps of strengthening exercises like wall sit, lunges and more. He also does some dry needling and I use a roller, but I don't feel like anything is improving. I also have a ganglion cyst and arthritis in my knee. Any advice? Kat, it sounds like you might be taking the rehab step a little bit before you should be taking the rehab step. The key for this is to reduce the inflammatory response. If it's inflamed while you're doing all those exercises, it will just continue to get worse. So there is a period of time where you need to just get off doing any sort of squats, lunges, anything that puts that knee into the full bend because that's when it pulls the kneecap up against the femur. Rest it, get the ultrasound going, icing if you haven't got the ultrasound, using the chirofix, those sorts of things to be able to reduce the inflammatory response and start the healing process. And then from there, we start to rehab after we've got that recovery because there's nothing worse than trying to work on a muscle that is just not recovered yet or a joint that just hasn't recovered yet. We have to take that time, which is like, pulling teeth for M. She can't stand that. I'm uh, grumpy. grumpy. Okay, just trying to have a look at some of these. Cut the knee off. That will help. Oh, that's not a bad suggestion. I hadn't thought of that. I wonder if the scissors would get through. No, I don't think that would. <laughs> Hope it's improving each and every day. M in great hands. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Nelly. G'day, Margot. Congratulations on your retirement, mate, and yeah, thank you so much so for your exciting. service as a nurse. You are an absolute legend. I would, If I ever had to go to hospital, which I would hate to, but, Margot, you would be someone that I would want nursing me because you would just make it such a fun experience. All right. I uh, love the taping info. Captions are a pain because they block the view. Yeah, mm -hmm. thanks, Sal. Appreciate that. Physio had me straight into exercise and it's been so hard. Yeah, too soon. Too soon, Kat. I'm sorry. Um, it's time for... Rest and recuperation first before you jump into the exercises. That's really, really important. All right, folks, hopefully that has answered your questions. Hello, Tropical Blue Moon. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Love the end of the week and looking forward to the weekend. Yes. And looking forward to next weekend. If you are in Brisbane, September the 9th to the 11th. 2022 in case someone looks at this next year <laughs> yeah we have uh, the mind body spirit festival we we had so much fun in melbourne that we thought we'd uh travel abroad well we're going to brisbane yep it's as abroad as we get <laughs> um to be able to hopefully catch up with some more of our community we yes. loved that was the best part of mind body spirit melbourne for us is oh, meeting people, people that we we've, we've never met before but they knew us because they've been watching the lives and yeah shared with us their experiences of, you know, I followed the exercises that M did for plantar fasciitis, for example. And, well, you and got me through ISO. Yeah, some amazing comments, which keeps us going because, you know, yes. we really enjoy hearing that we're making a difference because, you know, I'd hate to think that we're doing these videos and we're talking to the crickets because that would be no fun. We're doing this to try and help you guys to heal at home and empower you with being able to look after your own health and hearing that you're doing that and how you've responded is just incredible. We are absolutely loving it. So heading to Brizzy, so uh, 9th, 10th and the 11th, I'm pretty sure Brisbane's the same as Melbourne. It's free to get in, isn't it? You, you jump on and you get yeah. your tickets. We yeah, probably yeah. should do a link or something with the tickets. Yeah, just that... go to the website, Mind Body's They Brisbane. recommend that you per not purchase a ticket but secure a ticket because if it gets too busy, they would restrict numbers, I would suspect. Yep. The whole COVID thing's still probably. Right. Come and say hi. Come and say good day. Ask any questions. We are at Stan. Can you remember? C24. There you go. That's pretty impressive because I had no idea. <laughs> We're at Stan C25. Four, four, six, eight. 24. I don't know. I have no idea. Just come and find us. Look for the Dr. I bought Kez a little flag. Dr. Kez flag. It's probably way too small. Yeah, you won't be able but... to see it unless you're right <laughs> up close if you're as small as I am. Bonus. On the Friday. Friday. Come on, Friday. Why? What's happening on Friday? You've forgotten already. Forgotten what? I've got a speaking gig. What? On the Friday, it's Speaker's Lounge. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Speaker's Lounge, I think it's at 12, 12.45, maybe around lunchtime. Just come at lunchtime. Oh, I thought you booked that so you could do this. I'm not you. speaking. You're speaking. I don't speak. You know that. I'll reach my word quota for 2022. Actually, I already have. I don't know how that happened. But if somebody could come, <laughs> what time's that? I don't know, 12.45, 1.45 maybe. Watch this space. So if anybody wants to come and ask me a really elongated question at around 12 o'clock that lasts till 2, that would be amazing. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. We're there to share the love, right? Yes. So please we come are and see do us. A, we really do We are going to have it 
hopefully live as well. And the topic will be lower back pain and things you can do at home to help. Oh, it's such a common thing, particularly with everybody who has manipulated their workstations by doing a little bit of working from home and what have you. Uh, it's not really that great on people's backs, unfortunately. Yeah. So we might have to touch on a bit of ergonomics. Yeah. Well, we've got 45 minutes to be up there and chat. <laughs> That'll be a challenge. We always go way longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess all, whoever's after us will be like, Get off, get off. No, that's okay. We'll do our best to fit in as much info as we can on lower back pain and what lower back pain leads to. So hopefully we can um, yeah, stream that live so that if you are not in Brisbane or can't be bothered coming to visit us, which would sadden me greatly, um, then you'll be able to catch it on the live hopefully. So that will be amazing. We yes. can't wait. Margo, We're we'll looking definitely forward be doing to it. some lives while we're there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we Impromptu won't leave ones you in the lurk, and lurk, We might live, not always be able lurk. to get notifications out, but um, we'll be making sure they're saved and on our feed <laughs> margo says what dates that's why i retired <laughs> yeah last time we scheduled our lives and sadly i had to rudely interrupt some of my conversations that i was having with people that were there because we'd said that we were going to go live at a particular time so we found that didn't work very well because people have made the effort to come and see us and i'm in the middle of talking about their condition and and what they should do and and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, Em's tapping me on the shoulder going, we're meant to be going live in like two minutes. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Can you just hang around for a sec? And that's, I don't like being rude. So we're going to try and fit them in when it's a little bit quiet. And then, you know, if people want to catch up with us, they can, yeah, you know, someone like, asks, they're only pretty quick. Question, really. It's like, hey, let's do that on live. A lot of people are just like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be seen on live. If yeah. you are happy to, to come and chat about um, a condition that maybe you've been treating at home or, if you've got something that you want my advice on or what have you, that's what we're there for. We're there to be able to try and help open up a dialogue on whatever it is that is going on for you and give you some advice as to how you can help. But if you're happy to do it on a live, that'd be amazing because I guess from our perspective, people see Em and I on the screen and just think, oh, yeah, that's just two crazy birds doing their thing. But when there's real people involved in our lives, we had some great feedback when uh, Karen joined us on the lives for Melbourne, Mind, Body, Spirit. Um, she donated her body on her birthday, which was incredible. In fact, she donated the entire day. She was with us the entire day. That was a really good day, Karen. We enjoyed that. Um, but Em was, you know, looking after other questions and so I couldn't have her on the live. So Karen, well, actually I roped her in. I don't know that she donated it, but uh, she certainly helped us out and we have had some great feedback on that. I think it was the tattoo. Everyone loved the, the tattoo. Other thing on the is, back of it. Oh, yeah, you like tattoos. <laughs> yes, I do. Don't like them on myself, but... If you ask a question, someone else might have that same question 100%. and they're too afraid to ask. So this is the truth. You know, getting those questions out there has, a, you know, that underlying extra bonus of helping someone who who might, yeah, oh, I'm ready to hear that now or I'm too afraid to ask that question, but that's really helped So me. true because there's never a silly question, right? So many people yeah. I've got a silly question. I get that messaged all the time. There is yeah. never a silly question because the, the truth of the matter is if you're wondering that, then Somewhere. heaps of other people will be wondering that. And I guess sometimes that's one of the things that I feel a little bit sad about because I guess with my background and what I've learnt, I think in a particular way and maybe before my education I would think in a different way, but I miss those bits. So we really value those questions. And if you do come up with a question that we think, gosh, that's brilliant, I didn't think, I didn't realise people were thinking like that, We'll do a live on that so that the rest of the people out there, exactly what Em said, that might not be so happy or comfortable asking that question can actually have that answered because sometimes we don't we don't think of it from that angle or what have you. So we do appreciate your questions. We really do. In fact, it gives us content and it helps us to be able to keep helping people. So yeah. we do appreciate it. Keep them coming, whether it's through messenger, email, on the, the comments on the lives. We just really, really appreciate you guys because without you guys, our community, it's just us. We might as well. <laughs> do nothing. Don't know what. Don't um, know what I just do. to answer Lord. Margaret's question. It's the 9th to the 11th of September. Yes. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Yep. Not this weekend, but next. Well, this time next week, we'll be there. We will be there. Doors would have been open for 29 minutes already. <laughs> yep. Yep. Absolutely. Hey, Karen. Karen's on. You're a gem, mate. I'll be there for sure for a live. Oh, excellent. Got a neck, shoulder, thumb. Oh, which we'll do you want? All. I'll take them all, Deb. Take Excellent. All. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Thanks heaps, mate. Really appreciate it. Even the silly girl from the Central Coast. No one's silly. No <laughs> one's silly. No, we really do appreciate it. So thanks heaps for your support so far because we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing without you and continue to. 
we're trying to make things as fun as possible. If you happen to be um, on our email list, I hope you um, enjoyed. I'm going to say enjoyed. I'm sorry, that's probably not the right word. We've had a lull. You guys know that we had a little bit of a hiccup recently with internet stuff and we have engaged the most amazing person on our team. We're so pleased to have Katie with us. She is just she speak our language, man. So have you enjoyed the email last night? If you uh, <laughs> if you are not on our mailing list, jump on because there is they're going to be as entertaining as us because she has she just she is she's got our vibe. She's fantastic. Um, this month is gynecological cancer awareness month. Um, for those cancers that you don't hear about in women. So if you did um, get the email for from our wonderful Katie, um, you will understand that we're going to do our best this month to try and address some of those female issues. Uh, next week is, um, I think it's next week, actually, I might be getting my Octobers and September calendars mixed up. I'll keep my mouth shut. I'll let you know next week what next week is all about. But um, it is important for us to be able to address those kinds of issues. So sorry if it was a bit in your face, but these these particular cancers are not talked about and um, we're trying to bring awareness because it is important we value your health, not just your sore shoulders and what have you, but some of the more sinister things that can go on in our bodies. We need to start becoming aware of our bodies and changes that happen in our bodies. We need to take them seriously. We need to go and uh, have some assessments. You know, even a regular health checkup once every 12 months is a good way to just make sure that you're on track with your health, you know, find out that you might have a deficiency in vitamin D or something and, and then you can work towards rectifying that because so often we, you know, we think that it's just because we're busy or we're mums and we're running around after eight kids or whatever it might be and I'm tired, why is that? And then, you know, you get to a point where some other condition pops up because you have got a vitamin D deficiency, for example, and, and it could have been fixed ages ago if you just listened to your body and went, you know, this isn't like me. I'm not doing any more than usual and all of a sudden I'm struggling to sleep or I'm tired all the time even though I am sleeping, whatever it might be. Um, please get yourself checked out. So don't be a martyr. I know that we, we like to help you to heal yourself at home, but, you know, if, you, if you're picking up that your body's not functioning properly or different mm. symptoms that are happening within your body, please go and get it checked out. It is important. And as we go through um as we get a little bit older as em and i are heading towards the uh half a century mark ourselves <laughs> we're heading there we're not there yet oh, but we're heading there terrible. we're just joking anyone who's, over, anyone who's over 50 we love you all um don't don't think that oh this and that that's happening with my cycle is just because i'm heading towards perimenopause because it might not be so these are the types of changes that we're referring to so um for those of you who have suffered um, any of those cancers, we've had quite a few emails roll in since the email last night, um, and some have come out the other side and uh, doing really well with their health, and it's been the turning point for them in their health. You often hear that about someone who has a heart attack that all of a sudden starts exercising and eating well, and, you know, it's awful to have something like that happen to you, but, you know, why wait for that to happen? So have a think about what you can do to keep your health on track yep. and just listen to your body. Please listen to your body because picking up things like that early uh, can be a way that you can really uh, help. Uh, we will touch base uh, a bit more on this. I know we've got our live question and answer on Sunday, so join us for that. If you've got any questions about your body, aches and pains or what have you, then join us on Sunday at 4 o'clock because we'll be taking you through the answers to as many of those questions as we can possibly get through. Um, and we will touch base a little bit out, uh, about uh, those gynecological cancers that we spoke about in the live, uh, in the email, sorry. All right, so we'll catch you then. I'll yep. stop ranting. We've got plenty to do. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the beginning of your weekend. We'll catch you on Sunday at 4 o'clock. Thanks for having us on Your Therapeutic.